put far too much emphasis on the military to solve all our problems. And it's very unrealistic today that we expect a soldier to be a diplomat, a humanitarian, a warrior. We already outnumber the Taliban 10 to 1. So, And if you talk to any military commander, Admiral Mike Mullen, Chairman Joint Chief of Staff, General Petraeus, uh, General McChrystal, they've all told me directly there is no military solution in Afghanistan. Our staff met two years ago in Afghanistan, our staff, and they predicted it would take 20 years to get a girls' school built in this area. But only a few months later, the elders, the Shura, they came to us and said, we want to put a girls' school in our community. I really think it's all so important that we not only help people, but we empower people. And empowering involves having humility, involves listening to people, involves having people themselves affect change in their society. So I thought they're pulling my leg and you see me, the scared white guy in the back without the beard, that's me. So I said, well, why don't you come and visit one of our schools and we'll have a little talk. So they came to Char Siab School and then they saw the giant playground. So these men, hardened men, they threw down their weapons and their grenades and AK-47s and they jumped on the swings and slides and they went for an hour and a half. They had a glorious time. <laughs> And they told me, Haji Abraham said, as a child, I grew up in refugee camps. I grew up in war. I was taught how to hate as a child. I was taught how to kill the Russians and other enemies. He said, I never had a chance as a child to play. When I saw that playground, I became a child again. We teach the kids how to read, write, and understand Arabic which is different than in some of the extremist madrasas, which are the religious schools where they're learning how to read Arabic, but they don't know what it means or what it says. And when they can read, write, and understand Arabic, they find out that even in their own faith, in fact, the worst two sins are killing civilians and suicide. So when they can read, write, and understand, they'll learn that nothing in the Quran can support and justify what a few people are doing to, to hijack their, their traditions or their faith. Why are they bombing and destroying girls' schools, not boys' schools? What do you, why do you think they're so scared of girls going to school? If you want to talk about bang for bucks, the single most effective investment to make in a society uh, socioeconomically is, again, female literacy. This is the one proverb I've never forgotten that I learned in doing it as a kid. And it says, if we educate a boy, we educate an individual. But if we can educate a girl, we educate a community. The number one way to reduce population without doing anything else, um, you know, nothing political, is female literacy. And the best example is Bangladesh. 1970, 40 years ago, there were, the female literacy was less than 20%. Today it's tripled. The average woman 40 years ago in Bangladesh had nine babies, and today it's 2.8. We're talking about maybe a tenth of 1% of all our assistance, if we could put that into girls' education. You know, this is like, we're talking one thousandth of what we give. If we could just put that in girls' education, there would be some big impacts. When we're looking for solutions, we don't need to think too much, we just start talking to our kids. And kids can understand concepts of slavery and landmines and exploitation and racism. This guy, his name is Zach Bonner. He's from Tampa. He is now 13 years old. Last year, during his summer vacation, he walked from Tampa to Washington, D.C. He raised $78,000 to bring awareness to homeless kids in the U.S. And this year, Zach walked from Tampa to Los Angeles. His goal is to raise over a million dollars. Kids really can bring change, and the kids do have answers. They're fresh and untainted answers. That, um, so I think kind of making that connection is a really important part of the process of looking at um, you know, building a more sustainable communal society and world. Mm -hmm.